Women are the keepers of the water. Water is always a part of the traditional ceremonies. My father told me about the Sandin. The extent of the Sandin River is, is our traditional homeland. He told me that Sagin, even though it really means river mouth and it describes a river mouth, it actually has the connotation of love in it. All the kind of puddles and ponds gradually trickling into, into little streams and then creeks and the creeks uh, trickling all of the land farm fields and ditches and whatever, backyards, and they're all trickling down either through the ground into springs or through creeks. E eventually, all coming together, flowing into the river. And the river is meandering through the, uh, through the countryside, and when it comes to the, to the river mouth, or when it, where it comes to the to Lake Huron. This is where it opens up and flows out. And he's, you know, making these motions like this, and it flows out, and he goes like this, like love. Water is the blood of Mother Earth. We ourselves are about 50% water. We need water. It quenches our thirst. It cleanses us. It nourishes our spirit. And water or fluid surrounds us when we're inside our mother's womb. The entry into this world, it's the water that comes out first. We are told that water comes from the fourth level in the sky. It is then offered to the sky, to the directions, to the earth. Then the water is shared, so we have a communion of water. We think it's going to be there forever, and you know, maybe it's not. I think that there is a way that, 
that we can very consciously protect water and I, I believe that it's for all women in this province, in this county, in this country to come together over water and take on that responsibility for our families and, and for future generations. We call ourselves Anishinaabe. People have translated that meaning the people. Another translator had spontaneous beings. But my father, it's my father's translation that, that I like. He translated the word Anishinaabe to mean good of the earth, or good earth being, or good earthling, good of the earth. And when you think about that, you think about it, so we are the good of the earth. And when you really think about that, you know, there's no hint of original sin there. There's no hint of evil, or there's no hint of guilt or being bad, we are good. Because if we're good of the earth, then, then, then we treat the earth with respect. Mm-hmm. 